What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Positive Energy, a.k.a. Bud Butts. I'm here to holler at you one more time. Fire up, get up, see what's up. Take a little couple of toes, get the intro going, let the smoke go. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know this topic been covered numerous amount of times, but I'm not here to talk about what's already been talked about, so per se. So everybody didn't talk about the Goods and Cassidy battle. I'm not here to say who won. I'm not here to do no bar breakdown. None of that. All that's been done. We know what it is. Alright, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, trying to, you know, I, listen, everybody know Cash Dirty Dude. He, this is what, I, what I'm here to talk about is basically the shockwaves that's been felt through the battle rap community since this battle. And since Cassie came back on the scene, now, the man said he was. The thing about it is, and why everybody, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, okay? First of all, I'm about to get my opinion on what, how I feel, just what I didn't see in my view of what's going on. I ain't pers- professing to be. Battle rap historian. I didn't see all these ultimate battles. Oh, I've been down from day one and seen this, this, and seen that. Watch battle rap for a time. Seen some of the older battles. Just to go back, check them out, check people out that I like, battle rappers, and all this and that. that. Then, after a while, to me, seemed like the battles all start getting the same. Started getting stagnant. Now, then you know, Cass lit a little bit of fire when he came back with disaster. Everybody wanted to see what you know. If you're a fan of it, real bars and hip hop, you know, Cass has already been at the top of the list in there as far as rap and hip hop go. So when he came back and battled disaster, you know, had the buzz. He did his thing, dirty me. You know, boom, had it lit. Watched battles here and there, between there, some of this, some of that. Still wasn't that excitement until he came back. Then, when he came back, that's when everything started getting lit this time with him and Goods. He came back and he said, and this is why. I don't care how you want to judge the battle or none of that. How, whatever, whatever you looking at. But me, I like realness. And if a motherfucker say he going to do something, they do what they said. He came back and he said he was going to change the battle rap culture. If you check the face-offs before the battle and all that, he said he was coming back. Changing the culture, change the way everything get done. Started with the face off. Motherfuckers wasn't really doing the interest in, if they was doing face offs before then. I ain't hit. But the interest wasn't in them like that. And you seen doing the whole thing how I ain't no follower. Okay, so so you seen how the thing was going on, you seen how the narrative was set up, like Oh, it's cast. It's the industry versus battle rap. Industry versus battle rap. And I'm look, thinking the whole time, like, man, cash really ain't no industry dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never really looked at Cassidy as an industry dude. He was a dude in the industry who was slaying one of the few motherfuckers that was, like, Jada. Locks, you know what I'm saying? Niggas. Who do music in the industry, but you know they're not like 
the commercial industry regular dudes, they really be out here spit. So them is the motherfuckers we gravitate to. So he came back. He said he was going to change the culture. He said he was going to out-rap goods. He can't fuck with him on no level. Period. So, came back. He dirty. He, he, he dogged and dirtied everybody before the face-off. In the face-off before the battle even started. All the battle rappers wanted him to join their club. And, oh, jackass, be like this, no, this, that, and other. We, that. So they tried to form up against him. And you can see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> even doing the face-off, like, everybody seeing how everybody was, everybody was so, everybody was trying to gang up against Cass and this, basing this narrative to basically say it was the industry first battle rap and like, oh, we battle rap, y'all niggas ain't really nice for real, but like, bro, Cass is no, he's not one of these mumble rap motherfuckers out here who really don't be spitting, so like, for y'all to say that, it's like, uh, all right. And then when, you know what I'm saying, I seen little things, too, that I ain't, I'm going to talk about later than nobody else. Like, you can see it, bias and how media tried to get you to buy a certain story, but you got to look behind that and see what's really being said, what's really been going on. So he said he was coming back. Go change the rap game. He was going to out-rap him. Dirty and do it good for good. Came, did the face off, got everybody lit on the face off, got the interest, the promotion, his promotion game, even even the haters. Like this is the thing about when a motherfucker do what he say he can do. Like motherfuckers tell on themselves and they don't even know it. But even the haters will say they ain't never seen no type of promotion like this in battle rap before they A1 so there ain't no the dispute in his promotion game changed the way people look that's, that's changing battle rapping right there from the gate right off gate because now y'all seeing this is how you supposed to do it this is we we we're here to promote and sell this shit and why is he selling it why is he promoting so hard and everybody else cause they ain't getting part of the pay per view Obviously, like that would that would just anybody ring that if he an industry dude, which y'all want to call him, and he already getting uh, up front, big up front, but he know it's gonna be big and he gonna sell it, and he probably behind the app and what all that, so he's like, well, I'm gonna sell this, I gotta get cut on the back end, but. but the URL don't want the other URL rappers. Okay, and this is why they the mad at Cass. It's because he can immediately come in and demand these stipulations and this money, enormous fee amount that they can't. Like, when you, if you battling for six grand and a motherfucker talking about I want a quarter meal, you looking at the motherfucker like, this nigga stupid. How you gonna ask for a quarter meal? And then he get the quarter meal. And y'all wonder y'all mad. It's just jealousy because y'all want to be able to say, shit, I want to get a quarter meal for a battle. I can come do this. So that's just plain and evident. It ain't, it don't, you don't got to get deeper than that. So and then when he come back and say, no, fuck that. I'm better than every last one of you niggas. I beat all y'all. So all y'all mad at it. All y'all mad that he getting the bag that y'all want to get that we can't get. And this is basically his side hustle. You feel what I'm saying? So he on his side hustle telling you, y'all he trash. He ain't never been beat. I want this big ass bag. And y'all... Y'all happy to get 20 and he getting 10 times that. What y'all happy for and fighting for, he getting 10 times. But so obviously it's going to be some resentment and jealousy. Okay? And then why y'all think he never said, like when somebody else touched on this, I can't remember who and whoever was. Sorry if I, you know, I'm not trying to steal your thoughts or none of that. Most of these shits come from my my ideas and shit is formulated because I'm watching this shit. I'm, the cast got me tuned in, lit to watch this shit. So I've been watching this shit. I've been doing this shit. I've been watching this shit now. And motherfuckers said that on the disaster back, even in his rhymes, 
cast. Like, I got a quarter mil to kill this cat. You know what I'm saying? Let you know I got a 250 to battle this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, why you don't think he didn't say how much he was getting on on this? He could have stunned on goods while goods up here talking this. Oh, now you up here with me. He could have stunned on goods and said how much he was getting, but he he had to be, common sense would tell you, contractually obligated not to discuss. It was must have been a non disclosure contract where he can't discuss how much he got because then everybody else is gonna be like, Well, how this motherfucker get this? We deserve to get this because y'all making this, that, that, and that. And, uh, and on the This Is 50 uh, interview with Gilly, Cass gave a little insight to it when he said they asked him how much he got. And he couldn't say the figure, but they were just like, how much is it more or less than the, the 250 And his answer was, um... He got less up front, basically. That just is basically what he said. He got less up front, but more on the back end. Back end is what they hold the views on on that. So it had to be part of the app. So if you go to buy the app and you tune in and you vote on the app, you voting and putting cash in it. It's kind of like with Dr. Dre and Easy back in the day when Easy said. Dre Day only made easy payday. So while y'all hate it on cash, y'all really making him cash. So he changed the game in that way. Then he came back, he dirtied the nigga. Let's just, let's just say it. From the first six to eight bars, it was over with. It was a wrap. No more need to be said. Like, you know, when Retro Rob did the uh, bar breakdown and scored the shit 32 to 4. Goods didn't even have 32 bars the whole, the whole battle. Done over with. And anything, at, by the time y'all start booing, it was old. Y'all booing because y'all picking this nigga up off the ground. Because he was already laid flat, killed, buried, dirty, destroyed, right off rap. Like, and they try to make it seem like, oh, what a hippo with an elephant. Like, bro, do you understand that this man used a four-syllable rhyme for, like, eight bars to start off. And, like, how many motherfuckers can make up a rhyme with? Elephant down. Swell and go down. Telling you now. Nigga, melanin in. The, the, the way this nigga came right off rip and hitting that. And it was, these is four syllable rhyme pattern while these motherfuckers be trying to say the shit is simple and basic is because they only catching the last syllable of the bar in the rhyme pattern so they don't even know that if this nigga say for instance uh uh shootable gun who number one, they don't understand that that's four syllables that rhyme, but they only fake, focused on the gun and the one. See, like, these motherfuckers don't understand what I'm saying. Shoot, to, bow, gun, who, number one. So if you just focus on the gun and the one, you don't see that the other three motherfucking syllables rhyme with the other ones. So you just think it is simple, but you motherfuckers are simple-minded and y'all can't catch up with these rhyme patterns. So y'all think it's outdated and old and all that other shit. Boom. So it killed him in the rhyme. So it's how he changed the game. Changed the game from the face-off. Then he said he was going to dirty him, out him. Clearly outlined him, clearly outlined him. Changed the game again by contract structure. What his pay and his fee was, because you know he got points on the app or the views. Probably the view more more on the views on the YouTube. That's why at, uh, Smack don't want to drop it on motherfucking YouTube, because he know that Cash get a part of that YouTube sales, so he don't want to give him his money, and he's just be talking about like that, so he's trying to freeze Cash out. And then he changed it again by the bar breakdowns. 
Now everybody after the battles, they want to hear the bar for bar breakdowns. See what a motherfucker is really saying and how motherfucker, motherfuckers weren't doing that before that. But back to that, what I was just saying about Smack and YouTube, that's why he don't want to, to drop that app. And I watched a fucking uh, interview with him and New New Nails, right? And she wanted to try to Basically, the whole narrative on the interview was they trying to set up and put a background on how Smack, Smack came up with the idea for Smack and the URL and nowhere in the mention of none of this was cast. Like, he tried his best. He named other battles and this, that, and the other, other shit he was doing to say that this is why, this is how I started and this, but never wanted to give props to Cass or any kind of acknowledgement like he started because when he came in he said he started this way like you know what I'm saying You, what got you lit is what starts you bro you can have a match there this motherfucker right there that motherfucker is here these joints is here they don't get lit they already here before I light it but before if I come and I light this bitch that's what got a lit. This, the joint then started popping when I like this bitch. If the shit ain't lit until I it don't start and get high. Start getting in your mind and getting blown until I like this shit. Once I lit it, now I didn't got started. You didn't had that joint before. Yeah, you had the joint before. But it wasn't lit till I lit the shit and got it cracking and I started because I lit the blunt. Facts. So, he, man said he... He did what he was going to say he was going to do. Killed the mug. Nobody. And then this is the thing, bro. Three, four weeks later after the battle, motherfucker still is only interested in anything that got to do with Cassidy. It's like, like it's plain to see. Nobody cared about good. He dropped his little, and then, oh, oh, back, back, back. And then another way he changed the game. He dropped the diss track right after the battle, two days after that. Spazzing out for seven minutes. Okay, he spazzed out what they say his first round was 12 minutes. Spazzed out for 12 minutes, first round of the bottom, killed him. Had two more uh, rounds, five, six, seven minutes. And then, right after that, dropped the seven motherfucker. Boom, this is how he changed the game. And this is what these motherfuckers is mad at. It's because these battle rappers don't have no work ethic. They want three rounds to carry them. Three rounds worth of material to carry them for months. For three months. Like if you get four battles, that's if you get four battles a year. And a lot of them don't even get four. The best ones don't even get, maybe get two battles a year. So, so for three, four months, maybe six months, all I'm getting from you is basically... Three seven minutes spaz out. If y'all go seven minutes, y'all be to seven minutes be long. So, and this is why y'all want to try to say fucking cash is whack or whatever y'all want to try to downgrade him is because y'all doing that for three minutes and he can go on forever spazzing out spitting bar. Man, the way that man went in on 5,002 and 0. Crazy, bro. And then, he said that two days later. He dropped that two days later. And then, I quote, I'm quote the bars this nigga said. He said, bitch, you ain't gonna do shit but tip the law or snitch called the law then erase the shit out your call law. Motherfuckers was on Good's head so bad after the battle that about a couple of weeks after he dropped those bars, he went, oh, 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 these Cassidy fans keep harassing me. I'm going to call the law, man. I hate no gays to the board. Predictive. He he already told you what type of motherfucker what he was, that he was a bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me clarify. Like, yeah, I ain't in the guest gangster shit. That ain't me. That ain't all that. But I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing is Cassidy was more right 
then what goods? Goods you lie, try to get your claim of fame, talking about you battled him back in the day, never said you won or I battled you, just your claim to fame, which is I battled him. And then you try to slightly he's trying to say you won after so long, after he dirtied you for so many rounds, after 15 rounds, he ran out of raps. Like, how Cash ran out of raps? And he got all this material, and you don't, it took you three weeks to make a rebuttal. That wasn't even five minutes. And then, there's another thing, y'all be so wishy-washy, and everything y'all say against Cash really be the reverse. You ever have a motherfucker do like that? They they try to, they be wrong and doing you wrong in a way, and then try to say you doing them the way that they actually doing you. Okay? So, basically, they go say, during the battle, that none of Cassidy's bars was directed at goods. And he, those rhymes could have been for anybody. But on the, you got three weeks to prepare after that and come back with two, three, what was your freestyle, four, four minutes or something. But you kept pausing and thinking of shit and all that. Couldn't even really ride the beat. And then, you only talked about Cass for maybe a minute. And then the rest of that shit, it was supposed to be a Cassidy disc, but you got five minutes worth of shit and only one shit is directed towards him. Like, I can't even remember nothing. Like, you never really said no quotable bars. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't think I was going to get that. I just wanted to hear and see. I give you a fair shake and listen to it, and it was garbage, man. I mean, I, 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 Time out. What garbage? I like music, and I ain't gonna be one sided. It was cool, but if you if you try to, as far as this, I'm trying to get back at a motherfucker who just spazzed out on me for seven minutes. Then it's garbage. You feel what I'm saying? In that context, this shit was garbage. Making music, it was okay, but when a nigga just spazzed out on you, and then this nigga, he was he was going in on that five thousand and two. This, oh my gosh, he had so many quotables in there, and it wasn't even funny, so, yeah, man, but, and then now, that's another thing he did, or changed the game, was the URL app, like I said, he, he, he did everything he said he was going to do, he destroyed him in the ring, Changed the game, showed y'all how to promote, showed y'all how to be prepared, showed y'all have, he he showed y'all three different phases of battle and one in each phase, convincingly, bro. Three phases, the promotion phase, nobody, nobody is even disputing the, the promotion phase. Round two was the actual battle where he basically dirtied him in the first round. 3-0, nothing. Y'all can debate that. Y'all can have y'all opinion on what y'all like. But I don't, I ain't hyped about a motherfucker. Talking to the crowd. Let me sit my, I'm going to spit this whack shit and get this shit lit. Ooh, man, everybody trying to help you win, but you ain't really got no bars. You was supposed to come out spazzing and snapping, getting in that man's face like he was in yours. Like, you didn't, I didn't even think you was in a battle. You was trying to perform. And then this is another thing. I said this on another video. I don't know. Y'all, oh, y'all, the only thing y'all want to try to say that Goods did is he had stage presence uh, in his performance. But let me tell you about your stage presence. In your performance. And why it does not hold the same amount of weight as bars. For one reason. One reason only. In battle rap. There is no beat. No music. No music. It's like when you go in sales on do the right things. You come into my pizzeria shop, there's no music, no music, no music. Capiche? Because we want to hear the bars. 
we wanted to hear motherfuckers dancing and jiggy and doing all that shit. We put in MC Hammer and go for the performance. He the coldest rapper because he, oh, oh, do, 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 do. We don't give a fuck about that. The real motherfuckers want to hear the bars. This is why there is no beat in battle rap. Because we want bars. Facts. Plain, simple. And I'm going to end it like that. That's all I got to say. No beat. Because we want bars. Positive energy. But. Peace. And I'm out. But we can't have peace. Till we come together. One. One love.